And I do uh, have to thank our, our wonderful women of Mary Evergreen Leaves of Life for everything they've done for us on today, for the beautiful, uh, beautiful gifts and effort and just everything that she did. It brings tears to our eyes because it's just so wonderful. We didn't have to do it, but to uh, put that time and, and effort and uh, have these beautiful gifts and the poems and the songs and just, man, the effort on the food and everything that you do. Just so wonderful, and, and we thank God for you. You don't ever want to take it lightly, so we thank you so much for that. Luke chapter 11, verse 9 uh, it says, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, what? Receive it. And he that seeketh does what? Find it. And to him that knocketh, guess what? It shall be open. Jesus gives a, a clear uh, example. And as we celebrate uh, Father's Day or as we term it Daddy's Day, uh, you know, Jesus gives, I thought this was a meaningful scripture for this occasion. And Jesus says, If a son shall ask bread yeah. of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? If a son shall ask them, this is just a, uh, just a clear a uh, pretty simple example. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? Of course not. So Jesus says in verse 13, if he then being evil, my goodness. <laughs> if he then, if you people, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Meaning, people, the natural man can even understand if my boy or my daughter needs some milk, I'm gonna give them some milk. I need to take care of them. If they need an egg, I'm gonna give them an egg. If they need some cereal, I'm gonna make sure they even got some milk if they want some cereal, uh, uh, some milk to go with. Even the natural man can understand that. So Jesus says, if you being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that do it? <laughs> Man, I shouldn't put that 20-minute cap on it, uh, Coach, because there's so much in there. But I, this is why I just want to hang out, and then I, I'm going to get to the whiteboard, and we'll be done. Because I, I, you know, I've, I've had such a great time with everything that's going on and, and the fun and the fellowship, and I thank God for the, the word as well. But the first thing I want to note um, in this passage is, is Jesus starts off by by saying "ask." Um, that speaks to number one relationship. So we, we think about our earth, earthly fathers, right? And, and I guess I want to kind of you know talk about God, and we're, we're emphasizing, of course, when we talk about our Father. Where we're emphasizing God always. And, and anything that God is, the things that we have on earth are just simply representations of who he really is, right? So we, we call, uh, we may call pastor, pastor, right? Or as Brother Mike said, he's our shepherd. But Jesus says, I'm the chief shepherd. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, you know, he took his 12 and he, the scripture says he called them apostles. But Jesus called the chief apostles. Right. We have today uh, the term bishop, which means or, or elder. But Jesus is called the bishop. Right. And, and the shepherd of our soul. So Jesus, everything that we see on earth, all these terms that are implemented in the Bible are simply just just uh, signs or symbols of who he really is. So when we talk about our earthly father, we're going to have an earthly father, we're going to have an earthly mother. Uh, but, but Jesus Christ and, and the father uh, is so fitting because we can now have uh, an understanding of what it means to be a father down here, right? I don't have that opportunity. I haven't had that opportunity, and I thank God for all of the fathers uh, in here and for everybody still being included, all of us men being included. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But everybody, for the most part, can at least identify with a father, right? We all came from somewhere. But the, the cool thing is God, that's what God chooses to reveal himself as. And I hope I'm making sense. I know I'm going all over the place. But God reveals himself as a father. That's right? right? Yeah. Do, we, do we understand that? When you pray, say, 
our father. So it's something immediately that we can identify with. Because we all came from a father and mother. I can identify with it. So now Jesus takes the next step. Just like there are many shepherds and he would say, I'm the good shepherd. He contrasts, yeah, you know, you have an earthly father. They know how to give gifts to their children and they're evil. I want you to contrast that to me. I'm your heavenly father. So think about how much more I want to do for you. This is the issue. God is our Heavenly Father. He simply says, ask. Yes. Mm-hmm. Relationship. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, we don't feel comfortable asking. Right. And we don't ever receive because there is no father relationship there. Mm-hmm. Do we see how important that is? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Are we in the family of God or out of the family of God? That's what we have to ask ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if I'm in the family of God, mm-hmm. then immediately... I recognize that there are certain rights mm-hmm. and privileges that belong to me. That means I'm no longer bound mm-hmm. by whoever my earthly father was. Right. That's right. The limitations that come uh-huh. from who my earthly father uh-huh. was, and I don't want right. to get into all that, but you know, many of us may not have even had our father in our lives, or we may have had a, a tumultuous relationship with our father. Mm-hmm. Wherever we came from, Whatever hindrances may have come from that, may, whatever stumbles or pain or heartache may have come from that, we're no longer limited That's and right. bound by it That's right. because we have a heavenly Father. Amen, amen. Do we understand that? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. A heaven. We all have an earthly Father, but guess what? I, we don't have. Thank God for our earthly fathers, That's but right. more importantly, we got a heavenly Father. Yeah. That's so now. I have to be in tune. Just like I would nurture that relationship with, with the Father, I, I have to nurture my relationship with my Heavenly Father. Mm-hmm. If I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing at the house, and I'm a child, Daddy say, when I get home, I need the rooms clean. Yeah. Need the house back. Trash taken out. Yeah. Dishes washed. Mm-hmm. Tea off. Homework done. Now, we, we get home, we just sitting on TV with our feet propped up, dishes dirty. And then we got another, Daddy, I, I'm sorry, I didn't get to it today. But can you go get me the, the PS5 tomorrow? Not only are we not going to get the PS5, we, we probably going to get a whooping to go along with it. Right? right? So when we come to God, this is a relationship. He's still our father. Meaning... We have a level of obedience that has to be displayed, and then we'll have that comfort of knowing, ask, and you shall receive. That's right. That's right. So if we, in another place it says, if we know how to honor, you know, our earthly fathers, how much more than our heavenly fathers? And when we have that beautiful, we nurture that relationship. We spend time with the Lord, and we pray, and, and we walking with him, and talking with him. And now we're in tune and we, we know, just like we have that relationship with our earthly father, we know what he wants. Uh-huh. We know what he does and won't. Uh-huh. We know what's acceptable. Right. We know what's not acceptable. So Jesus says, ask, uh-huh. and it shall be given. You seek what you, sh- you shall find not, it shall be opened unto you. These are your rights as a joint heir uh-huh. with Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, oh my goodness, it shall be old. Whatsoever you shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth, keys to the kingdom. That's our right as children of God. When we say we're children of God, we're not just saying that to say that we have rights. Things that the enemy has tried to strip of us. Again, we're no longer bound. We've been set free. We have a father who loves us. And every good and perfect thing comes from above, from the Father of lights. Jesus in another place will tell uh, some of the sinners, he said, you are of your father, the devil. Uh Verse 11 says, if a son shall ask bread of any of you, Uh that is a father, will he give him a stone? If he acts a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent or a snake? 
or he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? Yeah. So now we're getting to how the Lord treats us. Now that we have that relationship, right? Now now that we have that relationship, and I know the Lord requires this, and he requires obedience. Even obedience is being better than sacrifice. Now that we know that, now I know I can, how I need to come to him, right? I can come boldly before the throne of grace and mercy. Man, when these kids get get, get good grades on their report cards and they run in here, uh -huh. Mr. J, you know I got straight A's. You want to let me drive today? Uh-huh. <laughs> they know it already. First lady, you know you seen what well, we, we cleaned up already. We're going, yeah. we going on a trip. That's right. That's what they say. Yeah. Amen. They're not timid. No. They're not shy. No. They're not tiptoeing around it. Please. They come in no. demanding no. what's theirs. Yes. The thing that they have a right That's to. That's right. That's Why? Right. Because it was promised to them. So if they know that us, again, being men, know how to give gifts to them, how much more our Father who is in heaven, who sees and knows everything that we need. This is why it's so important when he said, before you even ask, I've already given it to you. All we're doing is playing a role, asking you shall receive. All we're doing is playing a role and showing our faith. That's all we're doing. So when we show up and when we're in prayer to God and when God has promised us certain things, we have to come. When we come before the Lord, in this particular case, we're talking about prayer requests or what we're petitioning for, what we're asking or seeking God for, just that daily relationship. When we come before him, we have to have boldness. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Praying, not doubting. Yeah. Boldness. Boldness. Lord, you said, you said these things. Yeah, that's right. If I'm the head, not the tail, no. shouldn't I, I behave like that's the way my father has made me to be? If I'm holy and set apart from sin, shouldn't I walk in that and, and, and not neglect that? A peculiar people, kings and queens of the most high God, royal priesthood, chosen yeah. generation. I've given you the power to get wealth. Yeah. I've given you authority over unclean spirits. We can go on and on all day. All, all, if we talk about the things that we have a right to, we can go on, 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 on. The last verse says, if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children. How, this is the part I love, how much more more. We have to have expectations every day. We have to have great expectations. Yeah, right. When we wake up to start our day, it has to be one filled with expectation, right. a.k.a. Right. faith, <laughs> right. a.k.a. boldness. Again, it's not, don't get confused with arrogance, but it's boldness, right. meaning we walk in victory. Yeah. Come on, y'all. That's right. That's right. You see how, you see how people, man, if your daddy is Bruce Lee, you know how you're going to be walk with that? Nobody better not say nothing to me. Or Jason Statham. Right? Or The Rock. You know how company you're going to be walking? Nobody better not even think about touching me. I call my daddy. The devil cannot touch us because of who our father is. There's a confidence we have as children of God, y'all. Yeah. There's a confidence yeah. that we have, and we don't have to be beat down. We don't have to worry. That's we can right. just trust and bask in him. Uh, Our right. confidence isn't in ourselves. It's in no. him. Right. Yeah. Yes, this looks crazy, but guess what? God is my father. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got a father in heaven who That's looks. Right. He sits high and looks low. Right. I got a, I'm sorry. I, we got a father That's that right. loves us. The scripture says, when, when God was talking about Israel, he said, Israel is my firstborn. Uh -huh. When I took him out of Egypt, I held him by the hand like a child. Uh -huh. That's what God does. When he snatches us out of the world, yeah. he begins to nurture us. And yeah. he begins to hold us like a baby. Yeah. And now we're these babes in Christ, right? And, yeah. and he's just, just 
patting us on the back and he's burping us and he's giving us a little milk. And Paul said, eventually, you're going to have to get to a point where you're going to want stronger meat. Like you got to grow. So that means we're supposed to be spiritually growing. And now our father hasn't left us. He hasn't abandoned us. He's still right there. But now he treats us a little tougher. Hey, when we fall, hey, you got to burst it off now. Okay, now I got to whoop your butt because you're out of line. But I love you. So now we're growing. And even as we get up in our old age, no matter how old we are, he's still our father. <laughs> he never leaves, never disappoints. He's still our father. And he's always been there. My dad is in my life, and I thank God for him, but it's been times when I couldn't call on nobody but That's my right. heavenly father. That's right. Amen. That's right. When I needed help, I had to, to call, right. not, not make a phone call, but I had to call heaven. Right. And I had, I had to go through Jesus Christ That's and say, right. I need access to the father. That's right. And Jesus That's Christ right. granted us access. That's so to whatever he has, we have. We're spiritual giants. We're supposed to be spiritual giants. Yeah. We're supposed to walk in a way that glorifies our Father who is in heaven. That's right. Let me see your good work so that you may glorify your Father who is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Man, you, you've seen how LeBron James' son walk on the court. Yeah. My daddy, LeBron James, you think I care about anything? You see, there ain't nothing you can say to me to even yeah. my daddy, LeBron James. Don't shake your head. <laughs> of all the dads I want to be. <laughs> I'm just using it. I'm, he walked with swag. I'm just saying, bro, Mike. He walked with swag. <laughs> Companies. These are earthly examples. I'm done. I said 20 minutes. I'm done. I'm going to go to the white. I got a little activity, and then I'm, and, and we're done. But that's all I had to say. And so I'm not going to say nothing else. <laughs> but the encouraging word is, is no matter where we're at right now, let's go far. Let's, let's do a little bit more in terms of our faith, in terms of seeking him and what he wants because of who he is. Again, before we've asked, he's answered. He just says, I want you to be obedient and show faith so I can reward you. So I can reward you as your, I'm your father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anything else? You getting that good, bro, Jason? <laughs> All 
All right, Forever Fellowship Foundation, fearless, faithful, friend, uh, and forgiven. So who, 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 well, I'll just go through each one. We're going to pick the best word that describes Father. Okay? Everybody got that? Right. Nobody's offended by that, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to get upset if their answer is not the one chosen. Right. Like, like <laughs> first lady, Pastor, I, I don't want us to have a hat situation. So, like the woman with the hat. So, I don't want to Okay, forever. Hands, what are we going to do? Hands or round of applause? That's your answer. That's, That's our answer, yes, sir. Talk about my parents. <laughs> 
Who said Alpha? 